the gray area. The gray area. The gray area. Hello people and welcome to the gray area. I'm your host, Whisker Biscuit. Now, I've been trying for a while to decide how I wanted to open this thing up, and I just got off work. Anyway, I've been trying and trying for about the past two hours to decide what my very first words to you were going to be. Well, after working all night and sitting around, I'm starting to stink and I'm starting to feel gross. So I decided to multitask a little bit. So you're in the shower with me for the very first episode of the gray area. At least for a while because I can't afford a water bill that uh, it would take to close this whole show out. But anyway, at least we're opening up. Again, I'm Whisker Biscuit, or Josh, or whatever. It's really inconsequential. You can call me whatever. Just pick a name and stick with it. I'm the host and director of the show, but we are edited and engineered by my baby brother. He's so cute. You should see him. Phoenix of Phoenix TV. You can check his stuff out on YouTube. He's been out for several years. His game's top shelf. Uh, He does video game whatnot. Stuff I really don't understand. Stuff to do with Minecraft and whatnot. But it's got a lot of bright, pretty colors, and I really enjoy that. So if you're into gaming and all that that implies, you should go check that out sometime. It's on YouTube, Phoenix TV. In case you folks don't already pee in the shower, just let me tell you, it's one of life's simple pleasures. Just getting that out of the way. I have some really important business to attend to that I just can't concentrate on you and on that at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up in here, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, now that the hardcore nudity is over with for the day, just for today, hello, I'd like, I would like again to welcome you to our little show. You could have been doing anything else in this world, but no. You could have been enrolling in college. Saved a small child from bad choices, cured cancer, or swam with the dolphins. But you chose to listen to our little show instead. You could have taken a nap, masturbated, watched Say Yes to the Dress, or gone through the drive-thru at Taco Bell. But you didn't. No. You're with me instead. So, for missing out on so much... I thank you all, and I love all 12 of you that are listening today. First things first, I need you all to be aware that expletives will be a constant on the Gray Area Podcast. For those of you who don't know, expletives are what your workplace calls profanity. What some would call swear words and a few especially those from where i'm from would call it cussing so ass shit piss cock dick pussy cut damn fuck maybe just a few just a few of the birds that fly overhead and smack papaw in the ear i'm telling you now papaw will not understand hear me now people I do not, 
I do not want to be the reason that you have to explain to little Timmy what a clitoris is. Well, if you even know yourself. If not, you can ask your wife or your girlfriend, whatever she is. I promise that even if she hasn't found anything else in the world, I promise she's found that. So, count this as your warning. Explicit content. If you haven't turned this thing off by now, you're probably asking yourself, what exactly is this thing? What is, what is it all about? To this, I would say, what an excellent question. But I'm afraid that I don't have a clear answer for that. I can say that I hope to present my warped views of people and the world itself through the looking glass of satire. I plan to present that. But this explanation doesn't exactly count as an itinerary, if you understand. I know that I want to introduce people, ideas, and methods to each of you that whether or not you agree with them will open your mind for curiosity. Oh, I want this. I do. I want it so bad, but that's not quite all of it. And like every news organization in the entire world, I want to weigh in on the shenanigans of the world and offer my opinions and maybe even possible solutions. I hope to challenge other people's views and have mine challenged in return. I want to grow. I want to understand. I want to laugh and I want to be inspired. I want to be silly like a giant child. Just well, just to show you how it's done proper, with examples from history and my own skewed logic, I want to break down barriers that we never knew existed in our own hearts and minds. Now, I will absolutely try, absolutely try to do these things, and maybe some other things that I haven't even come up with yet, but sadly... I don't have a clear answer to this question for you. Please forgive me on that note. As far as the person making noises in your ear right now, I'm not that much to talk about. I'm either closing the young door or just now opening the old one. Then hell if I can decide which. I came from the middle of nowhere, western Kentucky, and now I live somewhere around outer Nashville. That's in Tennessee, for those of you who don't know. I'm helplessly lost. I don't know where anything is out here. But I'm telling you, I'm absolutely better for the move. I work on machines at a local factory. At nighttime. Like a goddamn vampire. I really... Uh... Yeah, I don't really like it very much, and if I'm being completely honest, I'm not that good at it. But then again, it's not good at me either, so we're even. Truth be known, I'm not that good at most things. My abilities and my memory are for shit most days, and in the attempt of most things. But I do make a really great squirrel noise. Maybe I'll let you hear it one day. But what I am is a hoarder of fragmented knowledge, untested theories, and I have a huge desire to share all these with you. It remains to be seen if I'll be good at this. In fact, I'm shitting down both legs that this is just a complete waste of my time and yours, but I am undeterred in the attempt. In fact, now that I think about it, this will definitely be completely horrible as far as the beginning goes. So we'll just get that out of the way. We'll just accept this This is probably going to be the worst thing you've ever heard for the first podcast. I have grand plans to invite esteemed guests and have informative interviews. I also want to have not-so-esteemed guests and discuss meaningful but otherwise random topics from the hairy edges of our brains. 
I wanted to promote fine works of literature, cinema, and under and excuse me, and other wonderful things like hallucinogens and YouTube channels and the outdoors and shit. I wanted all of this. I can't get this mushy shit in my head to walk a straight line long enough to finish an introductory episode. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. In case you couldn't tell, I have a precious moment from time to time. We can only hope it'll get better. Folks, we're shooting for an episode a week to start. This mostly hinges upon my work schedule, the editor's work schedule, how long I can stay awake, and how well my meds hold up, if you understand. I just got some social media cooking, so if you want, you can find us on Facebook. That's the Gray Area Podcast on Facebook, or you can even twatter me on Twitter. That's, uh, I have it written down somewhere, let me see. At the Gray Area PC, all one word. Message me up. I'll be happy as hell to talk to you. Now, I'm ever so aware that this is probably going to be the shortest podcast ever, but I'm afraid that will be all for today. I want to save subjects for another day, and you'll certainly see more of what me and my crazy are all about as the show stacks up. So, in closing, of this momentous, lackluster occasion, I'm drawn to one of my favorite excerpts from the trial of Socrates, as recorded by his pupil. That guy went by the name of Plato. I most certainly won't do this justice, but nevertheless, sit here and shut up and listen anyway. And now, Athenians. I'm not going to argue for my own sake, as you may think, but for yours, that you may not sin against the God by condemning me, who am his gift to you. For if you kill me, you will not easily find a successor to me, who, if I may use such a ludicrous figure of speech, am sort of a gadfly, given to the state by God. And the state is a great and noble steed who is tardy in his motions, owing to his very size, and requires to be stirred into life. I am that gadfly, which God has attached to the state, all day, long, one, and in all places, am always fastening upon you, arousing and persuading and reproaching you. You will not easily find another like me, and therefore, I would advise you to spare me.
not how I wanted this to go.